wise man once said, the sun is a deadly laser. And that was no more apparent than on September 1st, 1859, the beginning of the Carrington event, the largest solar storm to hit Earth in recorded history. The most immediate consequence of it was its effect on telegraph networks. Some telegraph networks across Europe and North America just failed outright, others threw sparks and shocked their operators, while some were even able to continue to send messages to each other without even being connected to their regular power sources just using the auroral current, like this exchange between telegraph operators in Boston and Portland, Maine. The auroras generated were so bright, they woke up miners in the middle of the night in Colorado, and they were seen as far south as Hawaii and Cuba. It's so bright that people in the northeastern U.S. could read with the light from the aurora. This event is named after British astronomer Richard Carrington, who, because of his observations of this event, put together the connection between sunspots, solar flares, and aurora on Earth. The sun has an internal magnetic field like the Earth does, but instead of swapping every few hundred thousand years, it swaps every 11 years. And when it's about to do so, the sun begins to erupt more frequently in storms and sunspots break out across its surface, like my face in acne. I'm 22, I thought it would stop by now. If you remember, last year there were two notable solar storms that created auroras visible within the northern parts of the continental United States. This is because the sun is right around that 11 year maximum right now. A storm of this magnitude today would be bad news it would be able to disrupt the electrical grid across the planet and cause trillions of dollars of economic damage. Back in 1859, the most advanced electrical network was the telegraph, but today we use electricity in almost everything. It also would affect satellite communications like GPS. Storms like this aren't even that infrequent. In July 2012, a similarly sized storm missed Earth, and we got lucky. It's the most notable event like this in recent history though, with the 1989 solar storm, which knocked out power in Quebec for nine hours. Another reason to be grateful for the protection that the Earth's magnetic field gives us, because the sun can be a fickle bastard sometimes.